it's peach picking time in Georgia. Well, not quite, maybe for some of the groves out there. But we've got a Georgia peach on with us right now. Welcome back into the show that's all about the South. John Rawl, good to have you back here as we begin our week. And sure enough, we're going to go to a beautiful Barra County lady. And she's an actress and she's a humanitarian. We'll tell you what she's doing to help kids around the world and more. And she is Jenna Sims. You might know her from Sharknado. You might know her from Attack of the 50-Foot Cheerleader and other projects. She's also been in the news here in the last couple of days for something, well, it might not be one of her proudest moments, and she might not be wanting to do a career change. We actually have some video that we'll show you in just a second. But without further ado, let's welcome in from Winder, Georgia, actress Jenna Sims to the Y'all Show. Hello, Jenna. Hello. <laughs> Great to have you on the show, and congratulations with everything you got going on. Thank you. And you're a good Georgia girl, good Southern girl. That is right. Georgia peaches taste the sweetest. And you're a beauty queen. You, <laughs> yeah, formerly, yes. <laughs> oh, no, you'll always be a beauty queen. <laughs> I yeah. was Miss Georgia Teen USA in 2007, so where, where many, was, many moons ago. <laughs> where, where was that pageant held? That year, it, it switches. I think that I won in Noonan, Georgia. Okay. Now I, it's in McDonough. I guess I was thinking the the national pageant where you had to go. Oh, the Miss Teen USA was in uh, California and Pasadena. And so that would have been back in the Trump era of them owning that. It was. I, I assume was. You, you've met him before. Yes, I have a few times. <laughs> in fact, you're kind of neighbors these days. Yeah, I have definitely seen him lately, a lot lately. <laughs> All right. And, uh, of course, Georgia and most of the South certainly has been in support of the president through the last couple of years. But we're in support of Jenna Sims here on today's Y'all program, and thank you for taking some time to join us. If you've got a question or comment for Jenna, we're monitoring our social media feeds right now and would love to get your input there. But let's go back. When did you first kind of realize that maybe you might want to do this entertainment thing one day? Actually, through pageants. Um, I did a teenager pageant. It was called America's National Teenager, and it was a it was for scholarship money, so it wasn't necessarily a beauty pageant, but it was based on your grades and your community involvement. And so that was my first real experience on a stage, and that also led to smaller, more like local modeling opportunities. And then, of course, after I did Miss Teen USA, and that was my first like live national television experience and I was just hooked from there and it led to so many more opportunities and you did those opportunities ultimately you did go off to college you went to Nashville's Belmont University what what was the mindset there would are you going to try to be a country music singer no 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 no, no, no. <laughs> although I did go to a music school I majored in marketing um I just wanted to I didn't want to go to um to school in my home state no offense to the amazing colleges in Georgia I just wanted to go out of state to start to live on my own I wanted to be in a big city and I love 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 Nashville um and a boyfriend may or may not have had a small part in it as well <laughs> an ex-boyfriend <laughs> um but I loved Belmont um I joined a sorority and then from there, I started doing country music videos. I got Ooh. my first agent that I'm still with today, the Block Agency. Uh, they're based in Nashville. And uh, my very first job was the week after Miss Teen USA. I was in a Luke Bryan music video. Oh, which one? Uh, we rode in trucks. Oh, uh, you yeah, better have was a... my first audition, my, my first ever audition. And I booked it because I was like, I just got back from Miss Teen USA. I'm Miss Georgia. And they were like, hired. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was a great song, and, and we'll have to look closer for you. Are you pretty easily found in that video? Yeah, yeah you'll see me. I'm in there a few times. Okay. Well, unfortunately. I mean, I'm, you know, not 15, like 11, 12 years younger than I am now, but you'll definitely recognize me. Yeah, Luke Bryan, he's done all right here in the last yes, couple of. He's nice. He's, he's a great guy. And he's from around Albany, Georgia. You're from. Uh, yeah, Ryan... he's Georgia Southern boy. Him and Cole Swindell. Yeah. Sounds like you yep. kind of keep up with your country music. Oh, I love country music. Yeah. yeah. We're talking with Jenna Sims here on the Y'all Show. And, yes, yeah, she went to Nashville to work in some of the music videos and such. It's a good thing you didn't go to beauty school there in Nashville. Or maybe you should have, frankly, because <laughs> oh. recently you've been in the news for really the wrong reason. You decided to cut your boyfriend's hair just the other day during this whole quarantine thing. Before we show video of that, how have you and said boyfriend who just happens to be Brooks Kepka 
of the PGA Tour fame and a several time winner, major winner on the PGA Tour. How have you slash Brooks been doing during this whole crazy time? Uh, it's it's really been a weird blessing in disguise for us. I mean, I know there's, you know, it's horrible what's happening, you know, all across the world, but for us, like we've never really had an opportunity to be home for this for this long like he was injured last year and we were home but it was just under different circumstances like now we're actually being forced to be at home and it's been really nice um we've just spent time with our dog and just you know because we're quarantined we can't really can't do anything um it's really been nice we did like a 30-day sobriety challenge where we didn't drink for 30 days and that was the first 30 days of quarantine um that was really, really amazing. I feel like that taught us a lot about ourselves <laughs> and our willpower. And then um, his birthday is this weekend. So we are getting ready to have a few people over safely. Um, so that'll be really fun, but it, it's been good. I mean, I've been cooking a little bit. Uh, he's, he's still able to practice. So we still get some time apart from each other. <laughs> um, and then I've just been working out at home every day and We've had the most amazing weather here in Florida. So we've been in the pool with the dog and it's it's kind of been nice. I'm ready for life to open back up though. I'm, I'm ready. How did you and Brooks meet? Uh, we met on Instagram. Oh, that's kind of how we met. We found there you on Instagram and, and you yeah, got- Yeah, I mean, that's, I used to be so embarrassed to say that, but it's so common now. Like so many of my girlfriends have met their guys that way. So it's, I mean, it's like another dating app, I guess, but he and I met in actually in 2015. So before okay. any of the majors and all of that. Instagram is giving farmers only.com a run for the money. And, yes, and, Jenna watch out. and Brooks Kepka, they're, they're a good example of that. Now, speaking <laughs> of Mr. Kepka, who is quarantined with you in South Florida, you decided to help him out. Maybe this was an early birthday present. You decided to <laughs> lower his ears the other day. And this had, year. Had, had you ever cut anybody's hair before in your life? Um, well, I have helped him in the past with like, just in the back, like just lining up the back. Okay. Cause that's the part that it's the easiest to do. Just, just trim up a straight line, you know, on the, on the, the very, very bottom in the back. But okay. This was a full-on fade and the top and so many different le le levels to the shaver. I don't even know the right words, but he, um, yeah, we were just bored one day and he was like, you want to cut my hair? I'm like, yeah. I mean, it might suck. He's like, I don't care. Like, it was just kind of like, okay, let's go. And then there, and it turned out like that. And we're looking at it and. And he looks like he just got out of boot camp, first of all, after your haircut. Yeah, you did kind of mess it up a very, little bit. Very military. Um, that was at first, like, I thought, oh, my God, you look like you're going into the Navy or something. Um, but then at the end, he was like, oh, my God, it's Farva. Like, he looks exactly like the, the cop and super troopers. <laughs> and so now, like, that's sort of the character that he's taken on um, around the house and with his friends. But it's grown out. It's been... I don't know. It's been like probably a week now. So it looks a lot better. Like it actually looks pretty good now. Like we've been like, we saw his coach and he's like, Oh, it doesn't even look, it doesn't look that bad. You know, like <laughs> people are like, it's not that bad. <laughs> yeah. Well, when did he start the mustache? Cause that also kind of helps the creepy level in my opinion. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, he always does that because on when he's playing, he always has like a clean, mm -hmm. um, relatively clean face. So whenever he's not playing, he just grows it out. Okay. Well, so that two, started right after the players got canceled. You, you did kind of butcher it a little bit, but good thing is he's a yeah. guy and guy's hair grows quick and he'll, he'll be just fine. And he wears a hat when he's out there on tour. Oh yeah. But I mean, I'm, I'm lucky. He doesn't care at all. Like he's okay. like, eh. <laughs> and, like and, he, he laughed about it. Like some, some of my guy friends would absolutely kill me if I did that to them. But he really, he's just like, eh, it is what it is. I think it's hilarious, which is so good. <laughs> and to Brooks Kepka's credit, he's the one that put this out on Instagram. I don't even think you posted it. So no, I did. I oh, did like a funny story and I was like, y'all uh, pray for me. I'm about to cut his hair. Like I, I like set it up. I did like a time lapse and then I did a finale. Um, so, I mean, I put it out there, but not, I didn't think it would be, I didn't think it would be picked up by the news. 
because it's just my, I'm giving my boyfriend a haircut. Like, why <laughs> does that? Why was that on like you know TMZ? I'm like, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> well, now it's on the y'all show, so I know the world is just, paying attention. I'm just happy that it. I mean, a lot everyone laughed. Like we were able to, you know, for a short amount of time, just put smiles on a few faces that probably you know need it at a time like this. Well, Brooks is a Florida boy. You're a Georgia girl. You grew up in Winder. That's Barra County, and that's roughly 30 minutes west of Athens. So yes. I know that it's sort of a small town that's just like everything else around Metro Atlanta has grown up big time. The question to you, yeah. Jenna, you, you identify yourself there on your Instagram account, at Jenna M. Sims, as a Krispy Kreme connoisseur, and that's certainly yes. a good Southern thing. So just how Southern is Jenna Sims? I'm very Southern. Um, <laughs> my accent might not be as strong as it used to because when I moved to Los Angeles, I took dialects training to get rid of my accent, not get rid of it, but how to just tone it down because auditioning for TV and films, like you can't have a Southern accent. So I, I learned how to speak with sort of a, a natural, what do they call it, standard American accent. And that's kind of what I I'm just naturally do. But if I'm around, you know, I'm talking to you, it probably comes out or, um, you know, my family, it'll come out or anybody from the South. So my accent is not as strong as it used to be. Um, I love, I mean, I put peanuts in my Coke. That's pretty Southern. Uh, um, I mean, I, I'm Southern. I mean, people meet me and they're like, you're definitely Southern. I'm not so Southern. It hurts. Like, you know, I'm in the middle. Right. You go both ways, Southern and yeah. Northern, huh? Yeah, like I'm trying to think of other Southern. It's just so natural to me. Like, you know, manners, I, you know, big on you know, chivalry. And, you know, I write thank you cards. I don't know if that's something they teach in the South. But I went to etiquette school growing up. I was in Perfectly Polished, which is like cotillion sort of. So I learned all my manners. And my family is really, really Southern. <laughs> They're, they're Southern and they're quite proud of you. Brag on your family. Who all will we found there in the Sims family around Barra County, Georgia? Uh, my mom is Jennifer Sims. She's a mortgage uh, originator. She has her own business uh, called Homestar, which is pretty big in the South. Um, my dad and stepmom both are also in the housing industry. They're, um, they work for Southeast Mortgage. And then I have a stepbrother named JR who also works in that same industry. And um, my half sister, my Hannah, she lives in Jupiter actually here. <laughs> so if this actress thing doesn't work out for you, it sounds like you can go get you a job in the mortgage industry there in Georgia. I could definitely do it, but I'm like the black sheep of the family. I'm, I'm not interested in it. Are you the eldest child? No. Oh. Uh, well, I mean, because I have like a blended family. My okay. stepbrother is older than me, and then my sister is younger than me. Okay. And her and I share a dad. Oh, okay. Well, along the way growing up, when you decided not to go into the mortgage industry, you did participate in, as we said, some of these beauty contests, winning Miss Teen Georgia back in the 2008 time period. You are doing things currently to help kids around the world, kids who may not go out and win the beauty queen but you're kind of giving them that kind of feel of what it's like to be a winner, thanks to your nonprofit, Pageant of Hope. You're the founder of it. What led you to do that? And please tell us more about it. Definitely. Um, I started the Pageant of Hope in high school when I was 15. Um, prior to that, I worked for Relay for Life, raising money for the American Cancer Society, just doing that with my grandma. Um, I lost both my grandfathers to cancer, as well as just everyone knows someone who's been affected by cancer. So that was my first big passion was mm -hmm. raising money for that. And I love doing community service for all sorts of organizations, even now. Um, and then doing pageants, it just did so much for me. It gave me so much confidence and pretty much changed my life. Like I was so shy prior to pageants. So I wanted to create this event called the pageant of hope that gives everyone a, like a, it, Sorry, it gives everyone a chance to be a princess or a prince for the day. Um, so the pageant is for kids who are facing challenges. It could be cancer, it could be special needs, any kid who wouldn't normally do a pageant. And when they arrive, we do their hair, nails, makeup. We do an entire pageant. And at the end of the day, we crown every single participant. Like everyone gets a unique title and they get a crown and a sash and a certificate. And it's so much fun. And I've done it literally all over the world. I've been to Cuba. 
I've been to Africa twice. I've been to Australia. Um, and of course, all over the United States as well. It's Pageant of Hope. And go find the website or go to Jenna's exciting Instagram feed at Jenna M. Sims. And she's got a link right there where it will take you to the pageant. Yeah. Well, Pageant of Hope has their own Instagram. It's just at Pageant of Hope. And then the website for that is pageantofhope.org. So if anyone's out there wanting to have a pageant, I do them in local theaters. We reach out to all the hospitals or, I mean, if you have any sort of connection, that I'm always looking to expand the pageant. Um, last year we did one in Nashville. Um, I do one in Nassau in the Bahamas every year for um, a village there, which is underprivileged children, and they absolutely love it. Um, Nashville was great. I'm looking to come to San Diego in the near future, but I always want to go to new places. Well, I think all the people watching this and listening to this right now want to have you come to those new places, Jenna Sims. <laughs> we got to talk about your acting job. And you okay. have been doing that roughly 10 years or so. Sharknado, you've been in Crazy. a few of those. You've been in Attack of the 50-Foot Cheerleader, a fun <laughs> movie. And I don't mean this as an insult, but some people call you a B-movie actress, a B-movie star. Are you okay with that? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I wish I was still booking those types of movies because that was a really fun period of my life. Um, yeah, I mean, I did American Beach House. Uh, that's a B movie. I was in Three Headed Shark Attack, um, Minutes to Midnight. Yeah, I've done probably like five B movies. Um, but I've done a lot of TV. I've done uh, Satisfaction, which was on, what was that on? Uh, USA Network. I was in Las Vegas with Morgan Freeman, uh, Kill the Messenger with Jeremy Renner. So those are bigger name uh, movies. But yeah, I'd love to be a B movie queen again. Book me. And you right. have worked with people like Jeremy Renner, Morgan Freeman, and more. And I know that had to be quite a quite a little honor for a Georgia peach. Yeah, those movies were both actually filmed in Georgia. Oh, does that did, did it help you to be a Georgian to get those roles? Yeah, I worked as a local hire did through you? my Atlanta agency. Yeah, okay. so yeah, when those big movies are in the South, it it, it benefits them for tax credits to a lot to hire local actors. Ah. Well, that makes a lot of sense. Let's talk about Attack of the 50-Foot Cheerleader. That came okay. out several years ago. In 2012. 2012, yeah, almost 10 years now. That's so crazy. It feels like yesterday. I, that makes me so sad. That was one of my first, that was my first big film role. I, I knew going into the audition. I first actually skipped the very first audition because I, I was uncomfortable with you know, if, if you audition, you have to, like, look in the camera and say, I'm willing to do a topless. Mm -hmm. And you just have to say it. So if, when you book it, you can't go back and be like, no, 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 no. Like, you have to, like, basically say it, sign it. You know, you don't have to take your top off in the audition or anything. But they um, pretty much hold you to it. And so, and that also, in terms of the compensation, it goes into that. So that was also kind of a draw. Mm -hmm. um, but after I bailed on the first audition, I went to my acting class and my teacher and he was like, oh, my God, this is a Roger Corman film. Like, you don't know what you just turned down. I was like, I don't even know who Roger Corman is. <laughs> and so um, he basically, I was able to get, like, one of the last available auditions. He coached me on it. Like, Sandra Bullock got her start with Roger Corman. Like, she was in one of, like, Fire on the Amazon, which is one of his really early uh, films, or her early films, not his early. Um so I, I coached the audition, I did it, and then I booked it, like, in the room. I was one of the very last girls, and he was like, if you want it, it's yours. And I was like, oh, my God, I've, to this day, I've never booked an audition in a room like that. So I was just like, you know what? It's not, like, it's not like a really, it's not a sexual topless scene. It's a silly, my top gets ripped off. Like, it's funny, it's comedic. And when I'm 80 years old, I'm going to look back and watch that with my grandkids and be like, I did that. Like, that's me. I'm proud of that. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, you did good. In fact, since you just gave us that declaration that it's okay to take your top off, go ahead. Feel free to do that today if you'd like. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm good. I'm too old for that now. <laughs> Are you actively trying to get new movie roles? Yeah. I booked, um, I worked on a film, gosh, two last, I mean, I, yes, I'm auditioning regularly. I just did big national commercial um it's mostly out here it's it's commercial work okay. i've done probably 30 commercials since i've moved here um i do a lot of print work still um every now and then i read there was just a hallmark or not hallmark lifetime movie that came through there's a few netflix things that i've been reading for 
Orlando is actually pretty busy. I read for a lot of things up in Orlando, but I haven't. It's been a while since I've booked something um, here. Okay. Well, you, obviously because of the quarantine, but sure. um, yeah, there's definitely I'm definitely actively working on um, my acting career still. You have something forthcoming called Thursday the twelfth. What what is yeah, that? That was my last job. That was a, a movie. That's a really funny. It's a B movie. Oh. Um, it's um. It's a it's Thursday the twelfth is hilarious. It's like a play, obviously on Friday the thirteenth. It's a comedy slash horror film, but it's a, a film about people trying to make a B movie. That's pretty unusual. And I play like the blonde actress in the horror film, but it's a comedy if that makes sense. I'm no hair expert, obviously. I don't think you are either, based on what we just saw with Brooks Kepka's haircut. You keep talking about blondes. You you are not naturally a blonde. What, what would no, you? No, but. And I'm not ever, ever going to be a blonde again, I hope. But that's, I booked the most, I guess, I mean, in my, I was in my 20s. You know, I was like the sure. blonde, you know, gal in my, in my 20s. But no, I much, I love being a brunette. Okay. But yes, in all these horror films, I'm like, I'm like the blonde. Well, you do the role quite well. And if you're out there watching. <laughs> Hang on, and... I'm almost done. Who was that? I don't know. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I, I thought Brooks Kepka might make an appearance here on today's y'all show. It's my doggy. Oh, what's your canine American's name? This is Cove. I don't think she's gonna jump up. Cove. Yeah. Okay. Not not she's co- in the back. Not COVID. No, I know, right? Cove, like <laughs> Beach Cove. Right? Yeah, that's what I, I thought you meant there. So, how long have you had Cove? Cove. Um, she's two and a half. Oh, okay. So Cove and, and Brooks, I guess, have been a package deal for you. Um, no, uh, kind of, yeah. We got her in January of 2018, so we've been dating, I don't know, nine months probably. Yeah, but yeah. It, it's a good step, you know. That. It, oh, totally, totally. Whenever yeah. he couple- was, um, when he hurt his wrist, we got her, and it was, it was definitely our little project while he was at home for a while. If you can raise a dog together, hey, there might be other things. By the way, do you have an announced plan of, you know, do you want to have a, a family of 20 one day or something like that? No, small. I keep it small. <laughs> okay. But you are pro children. Oh, yeah. Okay. For sure. Well, we'll what? see. Southern, I'm a Southern girl. I'm, yes. That's course. what I thought, <laughs> but I just wanted to make sure because a lot of Southern girls are career driven. And the ch- children aspect may not necessarily be at the front burner. but You can do both. You can do both. <laughs> All right. Well, I know when you do both, you'll do it well. All right, Jenna. I actually Sam- book a lot of um, young mom roles already. So. Oh, have you? Okay. Yeah, oh, yeah. My commercial stuff is like young mom. Okay. Well, we're <laughs> glad to know that. And look, you can knock it out. If you've done all these other things, actress, barber, and beauty queen, a nonprofit <laughs> organizer, and more, we know you'll do quite well no matter what the challenge is ahead of you. Mm-hmm. What's some of the favorite, since you're a Southern girl, as we wrap up with you here, what what's some of the Southern stuff you do around the house to kind of get more connected to those Georgia roots? <laughs> um, I, don't, I don't know. For example, what? Like cooking a meal? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I can make biscuits. <laughs> Come on, that's not that hard. <laughs> well, I mean, that's a Southern thing. Um, I love sweet tea. Do you have, are you, are you able to find boiled peanuts where you are no, in Jupiter, no, Florida? No, not here, no. I mean, if you go up north, like in North Florida, like South Georgia, definitely. But That's not pretty here. sad when you got to go north to get boiled peanuts. I know, I know. Yeah, we're too far <laughs> south for that. <laughs> but you got that. And then, uh, of course, Brooks played at Florida State and you're, I'm assuming, somewhat of a, a, a SEC fan. Yeah. Is there a rivalry there during football season? No, we don't watch college football. Oh, you don't? Sorry. That's the one Southern thing that I do not understand. Like, we don't. Okay. Well, good for you. Yeah, good. <laughs> I like the Falcon. I'm a big Falcon. Fan. Oh, are you? Rise yeah. up. Rise yeah. up. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you. Again, hopefully you got, you may not have boiled peanuts where you are, but maybe you've got a Krispy Kreme donut location there in that No, the closest Krispy Kreme and the closest Waffle House are like 45 minutes to an hour. You have got to be kidding me. I know. Krispy Kreme is all the way down in Fort Lauderdale, and then the closest Waffle House is up north, like 45 minutes north of us. That's sad. If I know. We made a, tr- we made a special trip one day just to go to Waffle House. It took you? us, like, the whole day. <laughs> I mean, when when Jenna Sims goes into a place like a Waffle House, do, do you get noticed? Do people like, hey, that's the Sharknado actress? <laughs> I mean, I, I definitely have, but not, not in a Waffle House. <laughs> okay. Are you okay with your fame? 
I mean, I my life hasn't changed. I feel like I'm this exact same person. Okay. Um, is yeah. <laughs> Well, Jenna, thank you very much for coming on and showing us your room there and your cove. Uh, this isn't my room, but thank oh, you. Oh, it's not. Okay. Well, it looks nice. Uh, this, is just like, this is one of our like guest rooms. I film like, my auditions in here because it's uh, quiet, okay. it's away, and it has good lighting. <laughs> Let's be honest. It's probably Cove's room now that he... No, she never oh, comes she... in here. I think she just knew I was in here because uh, she probably like heard me or something. She's uh, actually... I'm watching her in the pool. I can see the pool like... Oh. I'm on the second floor right now, so I can see down below. She's like jumping in the pool with Brooks right now. So she jumps in the pool and then comes up and sees you. Are you? Um, no, she was dry. When ah, she was just okay. Near. All right. That darn dog, but <laughs> God bless her. And God bless you, Jenna Sims. Check her out on Instagram at Jenna M. Sims and check out the forthcoming movie Thursday the 12th and be watching for Jenna on your small screen, big screen, and also, I assume you're going to be, if the PGA Tour gets back up and going pretty soon, you'll be accompanying Brooks Kepka on some of these events. I know you've tried I to give him a little, so. you're famous They're, for um, trying to give him a little smooch before, and he kind of rejected you. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. They're talking about um, no family or no, you know, no spectators, no family. Um, I mean, I guess I could go to the, go with him, but I'm not going to go sit in a hotel room all day, you know. I'm going to wait until they, you know, probably start letting people go mm -hmm. to the tournaments. <laughs> Well, we're looking forward to that day. Everybody's looking forward to that. Yeah. Jenna, thank you very much for coming on, and bless your heart, and thank you again for the time bless today. Bless my heart. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Bless your heart, y'all, and hopefully. That's a bad thing. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm trying to be nice here. Uh, at least tell me, you, you, you said you kind of go both ways on the whole southern, yeah. northern thing. Uh, I definitely said bless your heart after I saw his haircut, but okay. I'm not going to be like, oh, in general, bless your heart. Okay. Well, how much do you say the word y'all? Since we are the oh, y'all I mean, show. all the time. Okay. I mean, even when I meet someone new, they're like, y'all. Like, even down here in Florida, I'm like, what the heck? Um, but, yeah, no, that is that is in my vernacular. I say y'all regularly. <laughs> well, we're glad you did that and do that, and we're glad that you came on the y'all show. Jenna Sims, thank you, and have a great rest of your day. Y'all, too. All right. <laughs> And that will wrap up that interview with Jenna Sims. Check it out at Jenna M. Sims on Instagram. And thank y'all for watching. We've got more of the Y'all Show coming at you after this break.